in one dimension. In the last video, we have already discussed the collision in one dimension. Now we have to find the velocities after collision. So that we have to derive the expressions for velocities after collision. So if you have not watched part 1 video, please watch it before going ahead with part 2. Okay, can you move to this? Now, we are going to derive the expressions for velocities after collision. We have already discussed that after the collision, the velocities will be changed. Okay, so we are using these two equations that we have already discussed in the last video. That is, equation 3. That equation is u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2. And the first equation that is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. So these two equations we have to use for this derivation. Okay. So uh, we can find v2 from this equation. How we can find v2 from equation 3? That is u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2. So when we rearrange we will get v2. Right. So how we can find v2? That will be u1 plus v1 minus u2. That is u1 plus v1 minus u2 is equal to v2. Okay. Now we have to substitute the value of v2 in equation 1. Okay. We have the equation 1 that is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. So if you substitute the value of v2 what we will get? Here, m1 into u1 minus v1 will be in the same, the same, right? So, that will be equal to m2 into, instead of v2, we can substitute these values. u1 plus v1 minus u2, then again minus u2 is here. Okay, now, that is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into u1 plus v1 minus u2 minus u2. Okay, now we can just rearrange it, that means multiply this. 2 inside the bracket. Okay, so what do we get? M1 U1 minus M1 V1. That is equal to M2 U1 plus M2 V1 minus 2 M2 U2 because there are 2 U2. Okay, minus U2 minus U2. So that will be minus 2 U2. So we can write it as minus 2 M2 U2. Okay, now in the next step we have to write the terms with V1 together. Okay, so other terms we can write in the LHS. So what we will get? M1 U1 minus M2 U1 plus 2 into M2 U2. That will be equal to, what are the terms with V1? Yes, V1 into M1 plus M2. Okay, so that V1 we are taking as common. Now, can we find V1 from this? How we can find? Yes, that is V1 will be equal to M1 U1 minus M2 U1 plus 2 into M2 U2 whole divided by M1 plus M2. Right, because V1 into M1 plus M2 is this one. So that for getting V1, we have to divide the equation with M1 plus M2. So what we will get? V1 will be equal to, yes, M1 minus M2 by M1 plus M2 plus 2 into M2 U2 divided by M1 plus M2. Then that is that is the equation for V1. That is M1 minus M2 divided by M1 plus M2 into U1 plus 2 into M2 U2 divided by M1 plus M2. So like that we can find the equation for V1. Now we have to find the equation for V2 also. So that for finding V2 we have to just replace this M1 with M2, then M2 with M1 and U1 with U2 and the U2 with U1. So that we have to change this. So what we will get? V2 will be equal to, here we have M1. So that will be M2 in the case of V2 minus here M1, M2 is there. So we will get it as M1. Divided by M1 plus M2 will be the same. If, even if we are writing it as M2 plus M1. Okay. Then into U1 is here. So what it will be? That will be U2 plus 2 into M2 U2 is here. So what will be that? M1 U1 divided by M1 plus M2. So that is the expression for V2. That is V2 is equal to M2 minus M1 divided by M1 plus M2 into U2 plus 2 into M1 U1 by M1 plus M2. Okay, I will just uh, re repeat it. That means we have to find the velocities after collision.
pollution. So in the case of pollution, we have already discussed these two equations. Okay, in part one video we can see that. So u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2. So from this equation we are finding v2. V2 is the u1 plus v1 minus u2. And that v2 we are substituting in equation 1. That is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. So here instead of v2 we are writing this equation that is u1 plus v1 minus u2. So what we will get? m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into instead of v2 we are writing this u1 plus v1 minus u2 again minus u2. So if you are rearranging you can have to multiply inside this. Okay so what we will get? m1 u1 minus m1 v1 will be equal to m2 u1 plus m2 v1 minus 2 m2 u2. Okay now we can just rearrange it m1 u1 minus m2 u1 plus 2 m2 u2 will be equal to v1 into m1 plus m2 that is the terms with v1 we are writing together and now from this equation we can find v1 because the, this equation we have to divide with m1 plus m2 so what we will get m1 minus m2 into u1 because you can write together so m1 minus m2 into u1 divided by m1 plus m2 plus 2 m2 u2 divided by m1 plus m2 that is v1 and for getting v2 we are uh, just replacing this m1 m2 u1 and u2 so what we will get v2 will be equal to m2 minus m1 divided by m1 plus m2 into u2 plus 2 into m1 u1 divided by m1 plus m2 so that is the derivation for finding the velocities after collision. Clear? Clear? If you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.